Alright cunts, uh, we're back, uh, gonna read the client today, subscribe, uh, yeah, alright, so I'll just create a project called TCP clients, uh, this is the thing that's gonna be connecting to the server if you're retarded enough to not get that, um, but yeah, like, it's, it's just gonna be a really basic thing that just, you know, sends that to the server and then reads out the stuff that it gets back and if you you know watched last video which you should if you haven't uh we actually receive a message from the clients and we write some data back to the client so we're basically like just going to reflect that on the client side here so what we'll start off by doing is doing a uh, tcp clients uh and uh actually uh we'll just we'll just do the empty constructor um, and, you know, this is basically, like, the client that we're going to use for connecting to the server, uh, and interacting with the server. Um, yeah, so let's do client.connect, and, uh, this is, the host name is going to be your, uh, your IP, and since I'm just running this on my machine, I could just do localhost, or, uh, 127.0.0.1, uh, and... We're on port 420, which, you know, which is the port that we entered in the last video. Um, and, you know, I'm, I can't be asked to, like, handle exceptions and stuff, so we're just going to assume that, you know, it always connects to the server. Um, and then we're simply just going to do client. Dot. Actually, uh, I have some code to copy from the server real quick. Uh, which is this because you know like the like they they literally like use the same code um, for reading and sending so that's cool I guess uh, so we'll write to client dot get stream which is our stream and we're gonna do encoding dot utfa dot get string I mean get bytes I'm retarded uh, let's do hey this is some data and then um, we'll say while true. So this is basically like where we're gonna be waiting for the response from the server. There is, of course, like a much better way to do this. You could write like a handler or something. Actually, I think I'm gonna do that. That would be easier. Uh, so do like private static void start handler. Where we'll put in the network stream. Uh, and then in here, we'll do basically the same thing that we did on the server, where we're doing while true, if stream.data available, then, you know, hand, handle data, I guess, uh, else do a thread.sleep for one millisecond, right? So, like, you know, the thread.sleep is the same concept as, as the server thing. Uh, it's just for, you know, not fucking w with our machine. Um... And then, you know, of course, if, if there is that available, we're going to want to do uh, console.writeLine received data and then just encoding.utf. Right? UTF9, of course. Uh, UTF8. Get string. Uh, and I think we'll do the same thing as the server. What we'll do uh, byte array data read to end of the stream yeah um and then we'll just uh you know convert the byte array to a string and out to that and that's essentially all this thing is going to do let's also just actually I'll, i think it just for, yeah we'll just put this here um so now actually i should probably do like a threat that sleep for no way i Actually, coming to realize it, the handler is not putting itself on another thread, so we should probably put it after this thing. Uh, and we also have to do client stream here. And uh, yeah, to go over it, uh, we're creating the client. We are trying to connect to the server with the port and IP. Um, we are writing something to the stream, where if we look at the server... Uh, it gets the data here, outputs it here, and then writes some data back, which we then receive right here in our handler. Uh, and yeah, that should be it. I'm gonna just compile it now. Uh, let me open up the client on like a side thing here. We'll, we'll kick up the server. 
and open the client. And there we go. So you see the server receives, hey, this is some data, which is what we sent there. And then the server sends us back, got your message, which is defined right over here. Uh, so yeah, that now we have like a full uh, communication between the client and the server. I think in the next video we'll probably like write some sort of like API thing. Uh, yeah, and I I think that's about it. Yeah, I think that's about it. Um, yeah, see ya.